Good evening, it's a Sage of the Dusty Page again. And today we're going to take a look at the new Hero Quest quest pack, Rise of the Dread Moon. So I picked this up at our local hobby stop store the other day. And uh, we'll just uh, get into it, I suppose. Yeah, but um, I've watched a couple of other um unboxings on on youtube and um i thought well i'll give this a go myself and uh yeah we'll just um, see what we can see what we can see you can hear the magpies in the background here in australia so let's take the get the lid off It's a, I don't know the material I use now, but geez, it's, a, it's a good quality texture paper wrap over the cardboard. As usual, oh, well, the companion app. So if you um, use the app, you'll probably have to do an update to uh, utilize the digital Zargon. And here we go, we have our, our new dungeon tile, our different markers. The Caltrops look pretty good actually, I really do like them. Mm. Yeah, that's a, an interesting rune that I'll have to make, but... Um, yeah, no, same, good quality. We got our booklet and our quests. And um, our list of contents here. So we get three spectres, uh, Dread Wrath, Magnus Guards, a couple of statues, some assassins, archers, Elven Warriors, Elven Mercenaries, I think they look pretty cool actually. You can um, have a close look. Standard uh, entrance and exit doors. An arcane prison, that looks like a um, pretty good piece. Sorcerer's table, cupboard, and a few, and the table and mirror stands. Um, Yeah. Yeah, it's got some different rules in there. Disguise. Disguises. Crafting potions. <coughs> Large mon monsters, ethereal monsters. Yeah, we've got a message from the mentor. App guide. And obviously we have our different adventures and we won't ruin them too much for people that haven't bought the box. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of that already on the internet. So, two trays of miniatures. Okay, now we will start off. Skeletal looking dude, isn't he? Cultist. These guys, from what I've seen on YouTube, stack together and can cast spells. Um, yeah, nice sculpt. Yeah, another nice elf miniature. Our knight, our brave knight. I saw this painted on another channel uh, the other night, and I thought, geez, can't wait to have a crack at that. But it's a, it's a very nice sculpt. Um, what else? 
I'm going to have a quick look at the door. Monster's face. Mm. Oh, yeah, an elven like looking door. Perhaps it's got uh, different runes around the edge of the sculpt. Was it woodwork? Mm, might be just woodwork and leaves and things. Uh, yeah, we've got some more elf guards. Archer. A weighty bookcase. Quite solid. Um, even with a couple of little lanterns. Uh, I'll have a look at the cards at the end. I'll have a look at the mini next to the miniatures. Oh, sorry about that. What have we got? Ah, the arcane prison. Oh, well, there's a little it's a good opportunity to put an LED in there. Which is probably why it was designed that way. Yeah, but no. Pretty cool. A couple of statues. A few line marks there in the top of the sculpt, but nothing that you can't work out. Hmm. I don't know quite where they fit in, but yeah, some heroes from long past. Or they come alive and try to kill you, one or the other. Hmm. Now that is really cool. Yeah. Skull, crystal ball, arcane book, um, desk. It uh, has a couple of drawers on the face here. And, uh, you know, they could be trapped. Who would know what the um, evil DM or Zargon could do with that? Okay, a couple more knights. With a quest on that, that there. I can't tell if you can see. Yeah. That's a well detailed miniature, that there. Dread. face. Yeah, that could come up really well with a nice wash. Some wraiths. These are pretty good. I like these. These would be my favourite sculpt so far out of all of these. Yeah, they're excellent wraiths. Um, Suitably terrifying. And a different elven mercenaries. Yep. Polax. Um, 
sword. Two hand axes. Oh no, okay. We may have a new winner in the uh, miniature stakes here. Let us know what your favourite miniature in this pack is. This could be, um, it's very drow like. Drow, drow. Yeah. No, hey, good looking miniature. Okay, we'll put that aside. I'll have a quick look at the cards. Apparently it's something like 58 of them, I think. I read on the box. Potion, Heroic Brew, Pop Grog, Potion of Battle, um, Potion of Battle Rage. I expect you to find some good uh, amount of coins if you want to buy some of these. 400 gold coins, that's a fair whack on that uh, Potion of Battle Rage. Potion of Defense. Potion of Dexterity, Potion of Frost Skin, Potion of Magic, Healing, Lesser Healing, Icy Strength, mm. Potion of Magic Resistance. Again, these cards are good quality. Um, Potion of Speed, Strength, Super Restoration. Yep. There, yeah. Unforeseeable Fate, Potion of Vision, and then what have we got? Uh, Magical Sword, Cloak of Shadows, The Scales of Althorn, if I said that right. Yeah, that's a yeah, cool looking suit of armour. Phoenix, Phoenix Ash. Oh uh, yeah, artifact. Oh uh, yep, that would be the Dawn Shield, which we, we saw on one of those miniatures, or a couple of them perhaps. Um, spell Scrolls, and another one. Ah, we got Keltrops. I think I'm going to try to find a suitable miniature, or try to make a miniature for these, rather than using the chip cardboard chits. Reagent kit. Yep. And then a smoke bomb. Oh, yep. Hand axe. Helmet. Ah, these are the channel dread. And some inspectors. So they're the, the spells of the um Cultists, red light, and here we have a mysterious flower. Oh, yep, sacred plant. Yep, and an ingredients. Yeah. Good old poison potion. Yep, and then our uh, Elwyn archers, and our dread cultists. Of the Moyers. Mm, nice graphic. He's smiling assassins. Well, she's not actually smiling, but she's an assassin. Uh, Magnus Guard. That's pretty tough looking dudes. Spectre. Well, not, not a wraith, my mistake. Spectres. Dread Wraith. Striker, dual wielding hand axe, killer, glaive, 
and it gives grants you a diagonal attack. Uh, uses crossbow, arbalist, and I can use a broadsword as well. A scout, and our knight. Hmm. And the powers, which I think they can have one or perhaps. Shield block, Star Wars, and Knight's Challenge. Well, they, um, it all looks pretty cool. It's, it looks like it's another pro quality product from Oven Hill. I hope everyone's enjoying playing their, um, the latest box set, the latest quest. And um, yeah, if you liked the video, Please like and subscribe. And um, yeah, again, if you want to share your comments about what your favourite sculpt is, um, that'll be that'll be interesting. All right, thanks very much. Have a good evening.